Hey, what is going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC. Today on the bench is some new technology from Spectrum. It is their smart technology G2 Generation 2. They've made some changes to these. They've gotten rid of balance leads. We're going to talk about that. That's kind of a big thing with this whole new technology. They've made it safer, smarter, and easier to charge your batteries and uh, to do it very quickly, especially with this unit. 400 watts of power in this thing. Uh, this is the S1400. So uh, we'll be talking about this. They do have an S2200, which is two channels of uh, 200 watts each, or you can do one battery at 380 watts. So lots of power coming from them, guys. A uh, whole new interface for the, uh, the charger. Should look really good, make it very simple. Let's open them up, let's take a look at what you get. Alrighty, so here's the new package of the S1400 Smart Charger. You can see it is one by 400 watt AC Smart Charger, the G2 technology in it. Um, looking around the back of it, we're gonna see this in a minute, but it does have an on-off switch now, which is really, really great. Easy to use menus, and a little slider it does IC3 or IC5 now. You don't have to have an adapter for it. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box so we can take a look at it. All right, go get everything out of the box. Charger and the manual here. It's gonna tell you how to operate it, which will be very handy if you uh, are not familiar with using chargers. It's gonna be really handy. I kind of have an idea of how these work because I have the Gen 1. You can see looking around it before we even plug it in, you still can charge the older batteries and other batteries because it does allow you to input a balance lead here. Uh, but it gives you, look at that, IC3, IC5. You can input either one on here. It has USB connectors on here and this is actually for doing the updating. Big thumbs up to you on that one there, Spectrum don't have to buy an additional adapter like I had to do with the S2100. Cool graphic of theirs on the back, and this is awesome. I unplug mine all the time so that it's not just burning and the screen's burning and potentially getting dimmer, so I always unplug it from the wall. Now it has an on-off switch. Simple, but very, very huge thing in my opinion. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in here. And we'll get it turned on. Alrighty, before we power this on, we're just gonna push it to the side because we're gonna need a battery to charge. We'll take a look at the new batteries here. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour 3S that will open up. And uh, it says just plug it in. That's all you need. There is no balance plug on these. It is able to read that data and do a balance charge directly from this port now and that is going to be fantastic. And I'll tell you why, guys, because when you're doing these, especially doing double packs, doing 6S, things like that, and you're strapping them in, sometimes where that balance lead is is very close to spinning and moving parts. I've torn up a few of them because of that. So this is very welcome. This gets plugged in. It's not just kind of in there where it's going to get into the drive shafts, all of that. Uh, you're not crimping that balance plug either. So very welcome. Nice hard pack here. And these will also auto discharge down to uh, 3.9 volts after 72 hours. That's auto from the factory. Here's a 2S hard pack, same deal. So these are the new ones. They do have soft packs now and they have like a thicker internal metal protective side plates. Here's another 3S pack. All right, here's another 2S. All right, so here's one of the uh, older batteries that does have the balance lead. You can see how after you plug in, this cable's still kind of just out and about. You guys have seen it, you have them, you know what happens. You guys can see this is what can happen with a balance lead if it gets in some place it shouldn't. That is all chewed up and damaged. And so that's what I really like about this. So here's the one thing to note about these batteries here. These are only chargeable with a smart charger. Now you can use the generation one charger if you firmware update it to be uh, compatible with these. You can see the sticker on it says here, right here, requires spectrum charger, smart charger. Because that balance lead is in this plug, it is going to require that. 
Now you can see these are two different 2S batteries. One of them has an IC3, one of them has the IC5 connector. So there's one of each of those. Both of the more powerful ones are gonna run the IC5s on these. These batteries, these Gen 1s, they're still gonna be around um, and they are able to be charged with anything. The peace of mind, what got me to switch over guys, honestly, really is that discharge and how easy it is to charge these. But really the automatic discharge that these do. So these also now can go into storage mode and discharge at three times the rate that the old ones can with the Gen 2. So enough talking about all this tech, let's go ahead and turn this on and see what it's like to charge a battery. This is my first experience doing it. Um, menu, press and hold the play button over here. There we go. So. You can manually make adjustments to this, but the beauty of this system really is the ability to just plug in a battery and let it charge. Now, normally I would have these in LiPo bags, but um, I have bags of these going, which is also gonna be easier without having to plug in the, uh, the balance lead. So way easier to get it safely into a bag. But for the sake of this demonstration, we are not gonna put it in one so you can see everything that's happening. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our first battery. We're gonna do this 3S 5,000 milliamp hour. These are 50C batteries. They say that 100C should be available by spring sometime. All right, so it says it's initiating our smart charging. Um, and then here is the cool readout that we get. Check that out. It's got a little battery on the top here showing you about how full you are. It says 55%. It's charging at five amps and showing us our capacity that is charged so far, so 13 milliamp hours. Eventually, it's even gonna tell us our charge time remaining there. So that is really cool information to get from this thing. And uh, let's see what else we can see as far as information. Uh, cycle down, all right, so it's showing our three volts here. So we only have the one plug-in, no balance lead, but it does show us each of the cells here and it's gonna balance charge these using a smart chip that they've got inside of this battery so it's at about 3.9 volts ish um click again so it's at about 6.5 ohms for the top two 6.9 for uh the third and so that's kind of our internal resistance these numbers typically get better uh it seems like as we run it a little bit more and uh, this still has no, no charging on it to uh, turn off or stop your charge you can quickly hit this left button that'll stop the charging uh, if you hold this right little play button looking one here, it'll let you go in and you can adjust uh, things with the battery. You can see the battery history here, zero cycles, tells us our battery temperature. Um, hit the back arrow here and it'll go back and you can choose to stop charging in here as well. And you can also just ramp up the rate that you uh, are charging at. So this one can actually charge 20 amp. And these batteries right here say that they have a max charge rate of 5C or 25 amps. That's crazy. I, my other one only charged 12 amps. You can see how fast this is going now. Those numbers are cranking up there. So it's 26 minutes. It's going to go down even more than that to charge if we're going to charge it at this 20 amp rate. Really insane how powerful these things are. Um, 19 minutes counting down. It's just going to really want to ramp up the charge on this thing. We can see here our voltage jumps up to about four volts. So we can really quickly throw some power and juice back into this battery. I don't really recommend charging at this, especially on the first charge that we're doing. So we're gonna go back in here. Although they, they do it. I mean, I've always charged at one C, so I'm gonna go back to five amp for this first time. I know racers and stuff will really juice their batteries really quickly um, but you know some people thought that it might affect the longevity i haven't had batteries long enough to know the impact of that um, i've always charged at a 1c rate because that's what the battery said they could do and they've lasted me years and years and years um, but i do like having the ability to really juice these quickly if i need to get out there and do it so we're already at 75 percent with this thing very cool we'll go ahead and stop it Plug in a different battery here. There we go. No battery detected. We'll show you now that we can also charge our older style battery here. It's a little bit dirty. Gonna go ahead and plug in our 
balance lead first. There we go, it's initiating the smart charge. This is from the generation one battery. Here again, it's reading the information. It's saying I'm already at 72% charge. So this one has probably started into the um, discharge rate and you can see it automatically just starts charging when you plug it in. Pretty cool, just plug it in and let it go. Uh, and this is at 7.5 amps. That's what my batteries have been set to charge at um, for just general bash mode. Uh, that's what I would do. And uh, yeah, this is super cool. They have added this nice rubber grips and stuff to hold on to in the back here. It is a little bit bigger charger than the other ones. Um, but I, I'm guessing that's because of the technology. I can pull out here one of my older ones, the 2100 which does the, uh, the two batteries right here. Does not have an on off switch. Doesn't have the cool logo on the back of it. Does not have the rubber uh, grab handles and it has this little port that you have to use to update it. Now mine has not been upgraded yet. I did get the, buy the adapter to be able to do it. You can see I have to have this little dongle on here, this adapter to go to what most of my batteries are, which are IC5. So I have to always remember to carry those with me. And that's one of the cool things about this new one is that it does have both options. Um, they realize that so many batteries are doing this that, you know, it's just smarter to have it built in. Um, you don't need this little adapter. Um, so you can see the footprint's a lot bigger. Uh, this was two by 100 watts here. It would do up to 12 amps. So power is 200 watts total on this one is the max charge power, but it'd be two by 100 on it. But it did pretty good. I still, I mean, this will be one that I take to the track because it does do the IC3s in it. And uh, I've got a bunch of these older style packs here that'll work just fine with it. I've got to do the balance lead anyway. That'll stay in my track bag um, so that I can charge those up. So these batteries go in there just great. So this is an IC3. We'll go ahead and just stop this one. So even for the generation one batteries, it's telling us how much time we have left. We can hold in, get the battery history, which this will have more history to it. So this battery has 10 cycles on it. The current temp of it is 93 Fahrenheit. So this is one of my newer 3S packs. I also have here my smart checker. I do have a screen protector on it, which is good because it is scratched up like crazy. I throw this in my bag, but here's one of the G2 batteries. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. It's got all of the stuff built in so we don't have the, um, the balance lead here. Man, I was blanking on that. But as you can see, it's, it's still working with my smart checker. They haven't said to me if this is gonna actually work or not. I'm just kind of doing this, uh, but you can still set this up to charge from USB off it, servo test, cell balance. Uh, if you hold this in, it's going to actually allow you to change your um, auto storage. If you want it to be longer than three days before it goes into auto storage, you could set that here all the way up to 10 days, which is 240 hours. Or you can turn it off if you don't want to have it auto storage. But the reason for getting these, in my opinion, is this awesome feature. You can set your storage voltage, what you want it to be stored at. Really cool stuff. So these are just really awesome. Um, you can also change your charge current. So next time you plug it into auto charge, let's go ahead and show you that. Let's just say, well, it can do up to five times. Let's just say, do something outrageous that I wouldn't normally do. And let's just do the 20 amps, even though it says it can do 25. There we go. So now we've got it set at that. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into our charger and see how it reads it. All right, turn that off, unplug this battery. You can see how easy this whole system is to use. So now we're literally just gonna plug this one battery into here, nothing else, and it's gonna auto charge it. Charge rate, oops, climbing, 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 ups over the five amps that it would have, up over. Check that out, it's going right up to that 20 amp charge rate that we just set it at using the smart checker so while you're getting if you want while this one's charging i could literally go in 
and start setting the rest of my batteries for what I want to charge to when I plug them in so that it's ready to go. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. The Smart Technology G2 batteries and charger from Spectrum. I'll tell you what guys, the technology that they packed into these things is what kind of brought me over to using their technology. Um, I've bought a bunch of these batteries since I made the move over to Spectrum batteries. Uh, that's what we run in my kids' cars. I've got them for my uh, little race buggy that I run now, the little shorty packs. Uh, everything that I'm buying is the Spectrum Smart Technology because of a few key features for me that just work in my crazy lifestyle, doing the YouTube thing and, and having to have so many batteries on charge all the time to make the videos, to be able to run the cars and all of that. Um, it's just nice to know that uh, when I put these into my bat safe, that if I don't end up using them, that they will auto discharge. Or if when I go to the track, um, I usually will charge up all my batteries and I may not run through them all. Same with racing the monster trucks. I'll just charge up a bunch of batteries and what I don't use, auto discharge and go back to storage mode for me. Keep it nice and safe. And um, I'm really a fan of this technology. And uh, guys, if you have a local hobby shop, call them up, uh, get some of these ordered. I think you're really gonna dig this new technology. Um, I've really loved the Gen 1. I think Gen 2 is a step even more in the right direction, getting rid of that balance lead, but still keeping the balance technology for the batteries is huge. But again, these batteries can't be used in other chargers. That's something to know. If you want to move to these batteries, you have to get the charger, um, which is just a really nice piece of equipment anyway, uh, and very, very well built, nice and sturdy. And uh, I love the off switch, guys. That's huge. It's small, it's simple. I'm gonna stop this battery right now from charging. We'll power it off, unplug our battery. Everything is really, really nice and safe about this system. You shouldn't mess up charging. You can't input the wrong numbers, really. And uh, it's really, really cool, guys. So uh, again, call up your hobby shops. If you don't have a local hobby shop, guys, you wanna support this channel, I've got links to Horizon Hobby. Um, that are affiliate links down in the description below guys. You can order directly from them uh, Get this smart technology uh, in your cars and just be running that much easier and safer guys Anyway, hope you have fun RCing. We'll catch you in the next video